Hey, how you doing today guys? Video service information here. Working on a 2018 Subaru Outback. Customer was complaining that the heat gauge went to red and they were getting no heat from the vents. We scanned the vehicle and had a P0117 coolant temp sensor code stored in it. The vehicle's got around 69,000 miles in, on it. It's got the 2.5 engine. Found the coolant temp sensor wasn't the issue. It was just meeting its threshold of 240 degrees because of the odor, overheating concern. There wasn't any external coolant leaks anywhere. Uh, the coolant was still showing pretty much full in the reservoir and the radiator. So decided to do a block test on it, see if it had an internal coolant leak. So it failed the block test and we concluded it was a head gasket issue at the time. So we got it tore down and found that cylinder two and four where the coolant was ingesting in on. Got the deck surface cleaned up and the cylinder head surface cleaned up and just measured them and checked for trueness. Found that the cylinder head was less than two thousandths and the deck surface of the block was less than 2000 so it was in specification so we figured it was just a routine head gasket replacement on a 2.5 subaru did note on that cylinder between cylinder two and four the middle head bolt it kind of felt a little loose when tore it down but didn't really think anything of it so we got some new head gaskets on it put the cylinder heads back on and started torquing them down and got to that center bolt and sure enough we could only get about 14 foot pounds on it and it wouldn't do anything it would just strip out and pull up so got the cylinder head back off and stuck a boroscope down into the bolt hole and you can see in these images how the bolt holes all stripped out i did use my inexpensive uh, boroscope that you guys can purchase through amazon on to look down through these bolt holes it works great on your phone i was able to snap these images of them and show you guys decided to check all the bolt holes on that bank and notice some other ones are deteriorated and, and starting to strip out also got to check in the service history on this particular vehicle just to see if it had head gaskets prior or cylinder heads before or overheated issues before and didn't see anything in the service history so most likely, you know, come with a defective block right from the factory and, you know, the, the heads got torqued down and it lasted this long. Then with, you know, a little bit of time and mileage on the vehicle and that cylinder head on that side decided to lift because of that weak uh, bolt hole on the block, which caused the coolant intrusion. Both cylinder heads, like I said, checked out good. They were two th less than two thousandths, with it, which is within specifications. So since the cylinder heads are still reusable, you can opt for a short block on this one, or it may be more cost effective to replace it with a used engine. I do need a inexpensive bore scope like the one I used in the this video to see the bolt holes that were stripped out. I want to leave a link on the bottom of the description. And you guys could get one of those boroscopes. They work great. They Bluetooth to your phone and you can record the image and record the video. Appreciate you guys watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I put new videos up. Have a good day.